Hey dads, are you looking for the best HD TV antenna so that you can watch free TV coming over the air through antennas? Then I want to talk to you guys today about what I've been using for the past mm, 10 years or so. <laughs> and then something that I got in the mail that we're going to test with. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where... Whoa! gonna fall there. I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic reviews, as you can see, unedited, <laughs> of the products that I like having used. So if you're into that, you might want to click that subscribe button. Also, that thumbs up button is appreciated. So, um, that right there, can y'all see this right here? Actually, let me just take y'all a little closer. That right there is my homemade HD TV antenna. It is basically a fence post with copper wire strung in a certain pattern with a balloon in the middle. I'll link all that up down in the description below if you guys want to build this thing on your own. It's ridiculously easy. In fact, I've got a, a video that I, I've done that has over a million views on it uh, that teaches you how to do that if you guys want to go that route with getting uh, free TV uh, for your house. But I also got in the mail this guy. And I did an unboxing of this already too, which I'll link up down in the description if you guys care to check out the unboxing to see everything that you get with this. But this is an antenna, and it's definitely a lot more sexier than that thing over there. That thing's pretty butt ugly, because it's a fence post with copper wire. This thing's a little bit more sleek, a little bit more pro low profile, and it's got a couple of cool things about it that I want to talk to you guys about. But first of all, we want to run an A-B test, so we're going to do a little uh, a little side-by-side -side comparison basically here. I want to show you guys what we have, but first, let's go down back into the uh, living room and I'll show you guys what channels I'm already catching on the homemade HD TV antenna, and then uh, we'll go through and talk about uh, and, and do a, a what do you call it? Scan, and we'll see what we can get uh, through the new antenna that's there. I think my hand's on the microphone. Okay, so we have, this is uh, ABC. This is uh, the CW. This is something called Grit. It plays like old movies. This is uh, CBS. This is Get TV, another one of those old movie uh, channels. Ion, I really don't know what it is, but they play a lot of old movies as well. Uh, Laugh. I'm not, I think this is like some kind of sitcom channel. I'm not, I don't quote me on that. Uh, Katie, this is Fox. Uh, this is KLAF, which is an NBC channel. But I think it's like the second NBC channel. Uh, the My TV. Uh, I honestly don't even know what that is. Don't watch it too often. This is H&I. They play a lot of, uh, uh, I guess, I forget what the H and the I stand for. Maybe you guys can tell me down in the comments below. But uh, it's like, a, it's a bunch of movies. I know that. I think they're more geared towards men. This is a PBS. You get three, P we catch three PBS stations, which includes a kid's station. And, uh, and that one there, which is like cooking and crafts. This, I believe, is, oh, is that NBC? Another NBC? As you can tell, it's a little pixelated. I will say that it is fairly cloudy today. In fact, it's re it's actually really cloudy today. You can't see the sun at all. So I that's in Baton Rouge. If you guys don't know, I live in Lafayette, Louisiana. And this particular station right here, uh, 32 or 33, 32, is all the way in Baton Rouge, which is a good 45 minutes from me, uh, driving that way, <laughs> driving east. So um, kind of gives you an idea there. There's this station, which uh, I think it's like Jesus Channel. I'm not too sure exactly what it is. Uh, KLAF, that's another NBC. Uh, I don't know why they have so many NBCs. I guess there's a bunch of towers for them around here. And then there's MeTV, which uh, plays a bunch of uh, movies as well. Uh, there's this, uh, KDCG TV. I don't know what that is. Uh, there's one of these radio stations, 105.9 and KLFTFM, that's another radio station. I believe it's a Catholic radio network there that you can get through TV. And then there's one analog station that it always picks up. My TV always picks it up, but it's just static every time. And that's it, that's what we have on the homemade HD TV antenna. So now, what I wanna do 
is go back up with you guys. We're gonna switch the coaxial cable on from the H the homemade HDTV antenna to the OmniGo that we got in the mail. And we're going to, uh, while that's scanning, I'll show you guys everything that comes in the box. But uh, to switch it, we're gonna use the same cord, the same everything pretty much. And I'm gonna put this antenna just right where you guys are. So there's maybe a, I don't know, what's that, 10? No, it's, yeah, probably eh, seven to 10 foot difference as far as, uh, you know, where we are, which shouldn't make that much of a difference. So let's just move this guy. And what I really like about this antenna is that you could you could easily travel with this, this, this thing, which I think is what the company kind of has in mind whenever they were designing it, which I really like. So I'm just gonna put that antenna right there. We got the cord going. Let me go down here. All right, now let's go back to the TV. And uh, you know, we're doing this on the exact same day. I mean, a couple of minutes apart. And uh, I wanna see what the difference is. So I'm gonna go to my menu. We're gonna channel search and we're just gonna do auto there. And we're gonna let it go through the entire process there so that we can, uh, so that we can see what kind of, if, it, if, if the new antenna picks up more channels, that's what I'm interested in, to see if that one can actually reach further than the other uh, homemade HD antenna that I've been using since whenever I built it. If you go watch that old video, which I think was like 2010 or 2011, something like that. So um, I'm just getting y'all a little tripod right now so we can talk. Hang on, let me go get all this stuff over here. So this is everything pretty much that came ah, with that antenna. Also, one thing that came with that, the, this antenna is a booster for it, which I kept on for both tests because I wanted to keep the exact same setup everywhere, if that makes sense. So whenever you order the Omni antenna, which I'll link it up down below if you guys care to check it out, but it's the King Omnigo, and they do market it for like campers, RVs. If you're bringing your truck to like a tailgating game, you know, they have the whole football thing going there. If you bring a TV and you wanna, you know, you have the antenna on top of your truck, which actually the bottom part of that antenna, the base, this part right here, is a big giant magnet. So you can stick it on top of your car and you know that it's not going, or it shouldn't go anywhere. And it's pretty strong. I tested it out in the unboxing video if you guys care to go and check that out. Um, but I was very impressed by it. It's got a good weight. It's got a good magnet, magnetic aspect to it. And uh, if you were to like forget that you had it up there and you started driving, I don't think it would go anywhere. I think you'd come home with it. Um, one of the other things that I really like is if you don't want to put it on top of your truck or something like that, or you need to put it out, they, they give you this tripod that comes with it. And in the unboxing video, it was literally my first time doing uh, this tripod, and it's so stinking easy. First of all, let me, let me collapse it down. It works like tent stakes if you've ever put up a tent before. It collapses down to this small, that's I mean, my, my forearm basically right there, with it not including my hand. And then to set it up, I literally just drop it. And then I can, I spread these legs out. One thing I did wish is that these legs would kind of uh, have like something that would hold them in place. That way they wouldn't be wobble all over the place whenever you're going to set it down. But that's just a minor, minor detail. You can kind of spread them out how you want. And then instead of having the magnetic base, that magnetic base comes off and you attach your antenna to the top of this right here. <clears throat> Another small little design thing that they added onto there, I guess wouldn't be designed, just be a little additional detail, is that they give you some cord clips here, which are really nice, because the cord comes up under the antenna, and then it would slide down. So you can you can connect your, uh, your coaxial cable onto there, uh, and it won't be like flopping all over the place, which I think is really nice. Um, they also do give you a, I believe it's a 30 uh, foot cord, so you can really get you know, up high if you like put it on top of your camper, if you have an RV and you wanna run your cord just down uh, out to your TV, uh, if, you, if it, you know it's away, or if you need to set up your tripod a little further out to get away from some trees that your RV might be under, you could do that and you'll be able to pick up a better signal because trees can hinder a signal. Um, so I really do like that they thought about this. Now, if you are taking it traveling, they also give you a bag as well that you can uh, travel with. It does come with the strap and it comes with the, uh, 
a nice uh, pocket here that you can put everything in right here. Like if you have the, the big long, if you need to be your big long 30 inch cord, um, and then it has a little strap right here to strap everything down. So I really like this bag. It seems to be solid nylon construction and you've got the, uh, the adjustable strap here. So if you want to wear it over yourself so that you could, uh, take it with you to go easier and still have your hands free. Um, so yeah, great little, little travel bag there. Even if you don't use it for the antenna, it's just a good travel bag in general. Uh, and then the other thing that you get with it is it's connected to my TV right now, but it's the power booster. And you have to plug that in, which it's plugged in right now. But since it's also made for travel, I'm trying to find it, they give you a car adapter as well. What happened to it? Right. They give you a car adapter so you can plug it in into your truck or car cigarette lighter or power adapter so that you can uh, power that thing up while you're on the go. Okay, it looks like our scan finished. Let me get my remote here and let's, uh, let's see what we got. We have, okay, so this is ABC, and that's the CW, uh, Grit, this is uh, uh, CBS, the Get TV, Ion, we already saw all those, Laugh, uh, Cadian, that's Fox, this is uh, the NBC, My TV, that was on there, uh, our three PBSs, I'm just going to scroll through those. This is the, oh, that's that basketball game, that looks good, too. If I remember whenever we were watching the earlier one on the homemade antenna, it was very pixelated. This one still see a little bit of pixelation, but it's not as bad. For picking that up as far as it is in, uh, in Baton Rouge, I'm very impressed by that. Uh, same thing with this here. No pixelation there. This was another one that had a lot of pixelate. I believe this one comes off the same tower as the previous channel does. Uh, let's see, 33 WVLA. Uh, it picked it up definitely pixelated. I don't know if this channel was on the, the previous scan. I can't, I think it was. And you have that laugh channel again, so it's picking it up from a second tower. I think we only got the laugh channel on the first, uh, only on one scan last time. There's Ion again. It's, I think it might be picking up a couple more channels. Uh, channel 40? I don't know what this is. I think that was on the other one, but I don't think we picked it up because it, it, it would like scan for it, but it couldn't actually read it. This one's actually reading it, which is really good. Uh, there's another NBC, so we're picking that up again. Uh, 50, uh, that's MeTV, looks good. I, I think this may have been a little pixelated on the other one. 50.2, that's another H&I, looking good. We, we count that one. Okay, 105.9. And that's the EWTN Catholic. And that's it. So comparing the two, it looks like, let me turn that off. It looks like you get uh, better quality on some of the stations that are further away uh, than maybe on some that are uh, closer in. Um, co comparing the HD TV antenna that I received, this one, and the homemade antenna, a couple of stations weren't as pixelated, and I think I might be catching one or two more channels, but they're duplicates of ones that were already there. Be really interesting to take this thing like on the go, and I would bring it in our pop-up camper, but we don't have a TV in our pop-up camper. Maybe if I can find a small one somewhere, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll want to run a test. I want to bring it to like a state park and see what I can pick up there. I think that that would be very interesting uh, to, to check out. Um, if you guys are liking the dad reviews, y'all y'all want to check out these products, I'm gonna link it up again down in the description below. I really liked what they what they sent me for the price. You get a good small low profile antenna, good magnet base, the tripod, the carrying case, the booster with car charger or plug charger, uh, and a 30 foot cord. So all that I think is just they they really like put together a nice package there for you So check them out down in the description below or you can go make your own homemade one again That's linked up uh, I'll put the video down below and all the stuff that I use to make that down below as well If you guys want more of the dad reviews, I'm gonna put some more videos right there on the screen I'd love it if you watch more of our videos. Thank you guys for watching Make sure to click that subscribe button if you want more of our future videos. Uh, if you have a product that you want us to use here on Dad Reviews, if you want us to review it, let me know what it is down in the comments below and I'll see if I can get it for you. Thank you all for watching again and Dad out!